Hello and welcome to the first episode of Creative Collection with Kathleen Richardson. I'm very excited about our first episode. The first section I'm going to start off with with this series of videos is going to be on keynote design. If you're not familiar with Keynote, it is a product that is put out by Apple as a part of their iWork suite. It is a presentation tool um, like PowerPoint, but 10,000 times better, in my opinion, in my opinion. Well, I am going to do color palettes today in Keynote. Keynote is my software tool of choice. There are so many things that you can do in Keynote and a lot of people don't realize that it's not just a presentation tool. There are tons of things we can do. But our first episode, we're just going to delve into color palettes and I'm going to show you how to use several functions and I'm also going to show you a website called colorlovers.com and we're actually going to get some color palettes from that website. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm already in Keynote. Um, one thing I want to show you is up here in the toolbar where it says view. If you come down to the bottom and click customize toolbar, if you don't already have inspector and colors and the group icon here in your taskbar, come here and drag them. All you have to do is grab one that you want that you think you'll use a lot and then all you have to do is just drag them up here like so and then they'll be there like maybe you want to use connect forward backward any ones that you'll want to use frequently uh, today like i said we'll be using group inspector and colors when you're done come down here and click the done button and if you'll notice they're right there okay so we're going to start off with the colors window when i open up the colors window up in the top left hand corner you'll notice several icons the first icon is a color wheel if you notice anywhere I click here, you'll see the different colors come up. One thing I love about the color window in Keynote, actually in the iWork suite uh, altogether, is if you notice this magnifying glass, I can hover over any color that I want and click it and there it is. Let's say I even like the red in that little icon right there for smart bills. I can hover over it and snag it kind of a pink huh I can even move my window down and I can grab something from another window it doesn't have to be necessarily uh, inside of keynote so I may want I don't know this orange right here in Amazon and there you go so you don't have to use um, what's inside of keynote you can snag a color from anywhere well, once you get a color, you can grab it and drop it down here into your little chiclets. Um, by default, when you open up your color window, it probably looks a little bit something like this. But all you have to do is grab the little dot and pull it down. You can even pull your slider out and make a bigger window. That way you can have more spaces. Um, the next section here, if you notice, here's your sliders, your color sliders. Uh, you can do RGB, grayscale sliders, CMYK, and HSB sliders, and you can just move them around. Those of you who are more familiar with Photoshop, this probably is already easy for you. You can come in right here and just put your RGB numbers in if you'd like. Uh, the third section is what we're going to actually use is the color palette section, but I'm going to jump to the fourth section right quick, image palettes. You can come here and do image palettes. Um, you can create new ones if you notice down here it says palette you can do new from a file you can copy and you can do new from a clipboard and this is going to make a little bit more sense in a minute uh, and then the last one is our crayons so you have a whole box of crayons right here to you so any one of these midnight uh, i think is this cantaloupe yeah so there's tons of crayons here for you to use but I'm going to jump back here to this third section, which is color palettes. If you come here and click on palette, you'll see that there are four different ones here by default. One is web safe colors. Again, what I really love is if you click the magnifying glass, it'll actually give you the number or the formula for that web safe color. Uh, you also have all the crayons. Look at all of our crayons. You've got the developer palette and you also have Apple's palette. How cool is that? Okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to create our own palette. So I'm going to click new. And if you notice, you can come here and you can open a palette, you can rename a palette, and you can remove a palette. Well, I actually don't want this color here in my palette. So it takes the last color that you use. So I'm going to click on it one time and do command delete. And now I'm going to jump over here uh, to Safari and you can navigate with me to www.colorlovers.com. Color has a U in it. So C-O-L-O-U-R 
L-O-V-E-R-S dot com. So when you get to Color Lovers, you'll notice that there are tons of palettes. You can look at palettes, patterns, and colors. Well, today we're going to look at palettes. Um, tons of them here. I am going to check, uh, let's see, let's do Mustard Crisp. Oh, this is the first one I saw. Okay, so when I come here to Mustard Crisp, let's say I like this color palette and I want to use it in Keynote and actually save it. I'm just going to pull my Keynote window down a little bit and I'm going to come here and grab my magnifying glass. And if you notice, I can hover over this and I can actually uh, get a clip of this. But before I do, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to rename our unnamed palette to Mustard Crisp and click Rename. Now I'm going to click and choose my first one and I'm going to drag it down right here and then I'm going to click my second one and drag it down and if you notice it puts them in sequential order so I don't have to come back and label them myself and so I'm just going to grab how many is this five all five of the colors okay and drag it down so now I've got my own palette so if I want, I can do another new one. Um, and let's go find some colors that are a little bit more vibrant. Um, let's do Pink Sunday, uh, of course. Don't we just love pink? <laughs> I am now going to rename this Pink Sunday. And now I can come here again and choose the colors, drag them down. I forgot to delete that one, Command Delete. Um, and my next one and drag it down my next one and so on and so forth so we have now been able to create two color palettes okay and if I want to go back to mustard crisp there it is so now I'm going to go back into my keynote window here and this is really helpful when you're trying to do some type of design I'm going to do a new slide I normally always get rid of the text boxes that come by default I am going to move my color window over and I'm going to open up the inspector, which I consider the brain of Keynote. And I am going to go here to the second icon right here, which is our slide inspector. And if you notice right here, it says background. I can actually do a color fill. Right now my color fill for my background is white, but let's say I wanted to use one of these. So I could come here and click and maybe I want to choose a mustard crisp number three as my background. And then let's say I want to put maybe some shapes on here. I'm just going to put some circles on here. And so now I'm going to come here to my graphic inspector and I'm going to change this from image fill to color fill. Okay. And then I'm going to click the white and maybe I choose, let's see, this one here. And I'm going to take the line off. And I could place this here and I'm going to command C to copy, command V to paste and I'm going to scoot this over and maybe I want this one to be this color. So I'm going to drag and drop that on there and I'm going to paste again and maybe I want this third one to be this color and I'm going to paste again and maybe did I do all three. Let me see one, two, three. Oh, I have five. I'm missing one. Let's do this one here. Is that it? Okay, so now you notice, and I just uh, took my mouse and pulled across all four, and now I can line them up perfectly right here if I want, and then let's say I want to do a text box, and I can come up here and type my name, and Command A to highlight. You notice up here I can get to colors. These are just basic colors. These are crayons, but if I come here to show colors, it'll always open up my color palette for me. And I may want my name to be Mustard Chris number five. Then if I wanted, I could come over here and maybe change my font. I don't know, let's change it. Beautiful is like my font of choice. I know, that doesn't go, does it? Let's do Beavis. I saw Beavis. No, nope, let's do, let's see, Beavis new. And then I can make it bigger real quick. And voila, now I have a color palette. Okay, so these are colors that actually look well together. So let's take a look. What do you think? Nice? Great way to build your color palette. Um, I really enjoy making lots of different presentations and coming in and finding really nice color palettes at colorlovers.com. Well, I hope you enjoyed our first episode of Keynote Design in our 
creative collection series. Uh, next week we'll be doing shapes and um, a few things I'm going to show you. If you notice this hand, I created this hand myself using the pen tool. Um, what's also really neat is not only am I going to show you the shape, I'm going to show you how to make the shape move. Um, that's why I needed you to go ahead and pull down your group icon. Uh, I also like to do shapes like this. If you notice uh, the people, I'm just going to show you. I left the edges off a little bit to see if anybody could catch the fact that those were just circles and ovals. Uh, again, I used the pen tool to make this. The pen tool to make my son's 10th birthday party invitation. And, oh, I made that shape for my little daughter for her second birthday. So, join me next week. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you soon. Bye-bye.